All right, well, let's do more Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Let's see. What do I do? You've never played Mario Galaxy, confirm me? You should. Probably one of the better Mario games. I haven't played the second one, but I heard the second one's pretty good too. The, the Switch version is decent. It maps over some of the stuff that was just the Wii thing. It's a very fun game. It's definitely one of the more creative ones. Pro controller, but the D pad is just so sensitive, it's not funny. Okay, that's another track. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. It's just not giving me the hybrid. Slowly but surely the island is just getting enveloped in flowers. Just... Man, the level of patience people have to get this going. Still no success. Still no success. Still no success. Ugh. <laughs> it's just... Every day I check. All right, I'll leave that till later. Yeah, I suppose I should have said for context, like, the, the opening song was from Mario Galaxy, so that's why we're talking about that. I mean... I liked Odyssey. Odyssey was cool. I don't know. I, to me, Galaxy felt like a bigger deal. Maybe because I was younger at the time. Sinus infection has arrived. See if I can't Aussie time again. A lot of people are sick. What is what is it with right now? People have caught the contagion. Now here it's disgustingly humid. Not as bad as it gets, but pretty pretty bad.
I unfortunately had to go to get some stuff shopping after work, and I completely forgot what day it was. Just the fact that we've adopted Black Friday. It wasn't too bad, but it was, yeah, just crowded everywhere. Parking was a pain. When I go, I usually just don't try to get a, a spot up front, unless I'm getting something heavy that I can't manage. I like to just get a spot quickly and, you know, do what I need to do and leave. But even today, like, just the furthest away car park was just so full. sick before a food holiday though, yeah, that's not great. Okay, what is it? A golden urn? I think I have this one already. Maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> Tomorrow will be the first day where I will have nothing in terms of chasing stuff up or, like, dealing with the old place. So I plan to chill. I mean, I might put more stuff in its place, but otherwise... Oh man. Just glad these, these two weeks are over. One more fossil. And now that I've finished Donkey Kong, I can check out Mario RPG, so. That's gonna be my plan. I was excited for that game, and then just it released amongst all the chaos. That's the only thing I might do tomorrow. I need to go get some extension power leads. I said this yesterday, but the PS5 just comes with a comically short power cable. To the point where it's it's just not practical, it's just... The thing is so big, you have to put it out of the way. And they give you such a tiny power lead. No, don't move away. I mean, I know why they do this, but no. No one's moving now. You sold your OG for the slim. Is, is it that much smaller? I'm 
I'm too lazy. But also the slim is uh, digital only, no? And then you have to get a drive for it. It has no drive. Yeah, I can't get that. It doesn't make economical sense for me. Just, you know, I told it so many times. But in Australia, it's just the price of digital games is stupid for a very long winded reason. But the gist of it is 95% of the time you will find physical copies are generally 20 to $30 cheaper than a digital copy. So, you buy three games, already the physical has saved you enough to get a third game. I mean, a fourth game. So, it's just, it just doesn't make sense for me to get something that's digital only. It's definitely more convenient, but it's just... It adds up, man. And shit's just getting expensive across the board everywhere, so... Whatever money I can save... It's worth it. I think for that reason, I don't think it'll be a long time before physical copies die. One, they need to fix the pricing, but two, it's just internet access needs to be to the point where it's just... To download these games, I mean, some of them are 60 gig now, if not higher. Like, as a basis. I've seen some that are over 100 gig, like Diablo 4 is over 100 gig. And to buy that digitally and you have a bad connection... Whoops. And there's also the thing about, you know, them taking down digital games. We still have to download a large portion. Aren't cities only like 20? Uh, it depends on the game. Ow. That's... That is very good. This can be- I can use this for stalls. I've been using tails, though this is actual... Yes, yeah, so I can use- instead of these, I can actually get... Stall table. I think- don't Blu-rays go up to 35, if I'm not mistaken? Can't remember. I mean, there's still a mismatch in height, but... I guess the downloading isn't the only thing. It's more just the, uh, the price. I don't think any console uses DVDs anymore. I think everything is using Blu-ray now. I might be wrong, but... In the most extreme examples, I have saved, like, $40. God of War Ragnarok was 119 on the store, digitally. And I got it for 79 
Nintendo is still in cartridge. I mean, the cartridges are superior in terms of uh, durability. But they have their limitations because they're more expensive. And people opt for the smaller things and then you just get these scenarios where companies cheap out and get the smaller cartridge. Like, oh man, the, Me the Mega Man Legacy Collection. I would have loved the physical copy of that. But, so the way they did it, they put the NES games on the cartridge. And then you had to download the, the bigger games. So, effectively, they used a smaller cartridge and then the rest were digital only. It was just... I have the collection on PlayStation, though, physically, so that's fine, but... I have walked past this several times, where is it? Ah, oh, there. The only downside to physical is basically the space they take up. Having to move games, it's a bit of a chore, but then, yeah, it's fine. The amount of money I've saved across all the games I've bought, it makes up for it. It's fake, right? Mm. Man, these these last fossils. Customize, okay, and spend hot item, all right. Wait, a Nook Friday sale? Everything in the shop is 30%. <laughs> Even in game, what is this? Stadium lights? Sure. Uh -huh. Stadium lights. I don't think I've ever seen these. I wanted that. Um, get that sign. All right, I paid for my stadium light.
Do these actually illuminate? How big are these? At the end of the day, I want to make my house like a like a, a night spot sort of thing. So maybe it might be nice in the background to throw. of that. It's fake. <laughs> I already see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy the fake painting so he refreshes stuff. Just, it's missing the hunters. I've seen that one enough times. I did find that a bit weird, but it, when you donate it, it doesn't teach you anything about the painting. They kind of half-assed it. <laughs> it would have been nice to learn, like the other stuff. At the very least, who painted it. And when. You can in the museum. Yeah. I just mean when you donate it to Blathers. Because he does it for everything else. I guess Blathers doesn't know anything about art. Okay, so... What's that? And then... I think we needed a white one. From memory. Where is it? There it is. Do I wanna... I guess I should check. 
these lighted displays. Alright, we'll leave it. I think they're fine. They match what's going on sign. They've turned him down quite a bit. He was really aggressive in, in New Leaf. Very protective of his wife. dark blue. Do I need to go back or can I do it myself? I may actually have to go. But I think maybe to change the wood color. It might be him. I'm just hoping I can change the fabric. Okay, good. <laughs> Everything's fine. What am I missing here? That's a tool spot. What's what's missing here? Shovel, rod, axe, net, slingshot, axe, hole. Oh, it's a watering can. That's it's okay. Should probably customize it. This is more or less done for now. I think it's worked out. Alright, so let's see if this does what I want it to. need for these tables now. Ooh, is this too... That's no, fine. I guess that makes sense going the other way. That's fine. Let it go. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, I should. Got changed. It's like Steve from Blue's Clues. Well, maybe not the chain pants, but. Younger brothers love that show. I got that from. More importantly, why don't I have it? Hmm. It must have been a leftover from yesterday. to the stuff and then I'll, I'll figure out what I'm doing today saying I'm gonna like read a guide and see if I'm doing anything wrong but I, I just keep forgetting. Hybrid Guide. So lilies are complete, roses.
Wait, hybrid pink with roses. Looks identical to pink, but needed for hybrid blue roses. Hybrid red plus hybrid red equals hybrid blue. Roses seem to be very complicated. Hold on. White plus white equals purple for mums. Then red plus yellow equals hybrid yellow. Looks identical to yellow, but you need it for purple. Hybrid purple. Is this why this is never progressing? Wait a minute, where's yellow? There's no yellow here. This might be why it's not progressing. So I got up to purple and then just called it quits. Okay. Wait, did I just get cans? Oh, it's actually kind of nice. This is kind of annoying, the fact that I won't know what... Hang on, orange plus red equals pink, white plus white equals blue. hasn't been working. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this might be a chance that I can fix this. Orange plus orange equals purple. Okay, our hyacinths I can probably fix. Apparently with Cosmos it's orange plus orange is black. That's the only color I'm missing. Red plus red equals black. Red plus yellow equals orange. Red plus white equals pink. Orange plus orange equals purple. Take this one step at a time. I'm gonna plant more white ones along here. No, I, I, I swear if I don't get blue. This whole layout thing didn't really work the way I read it would. A 
Okay, so with these, I know that the red ones are not hybrid red. Because hybrid red only comes with blue. Therefore, I can ditch these red ones to not confuse it. the only color I need is pink. So all these can go. seen one of these in a few days. as well do something with them. set up. Let me take a look at Cosmos. So I have every color except black. Okay. Well, this one is a no-brainer. This one is just orange and orange, so... Isolate the orange ones. I have this plot of land here, so I can use this as a spot. I should have looked this up a long time ago. <laughs> okay.
I may as well water those ones as well. Because it can still happen. Pansies. Yeah, I mean, I was just guess just doing more white ones. I need this. I can't really do much about it. Let's just wait until another blue one appears. I'll just water these ones to give it a higher chance. Okay. I'm missing yellow. gonna disappear. Extravagant meal? Okay. I think, yeah, I've got it before. It's that one there. Please tell me they're at sale here. Lily, rose, windflower, lily, rose, windflower. Okay. I need to go to see leaf. Things I have to resort to.
Please have them. <laughs> Plus, I can't progress. This will explain why the mums have never had green ones. It's just because the whole hybrid purple thing. So I need to mix red and yellow to get hybrid purple. Because it doesn't count <laughs> if you get just normal purple. What a convoluted system. It would be fine if they had some sort of visual difference, but... Okay, well the good news is I have some red ones I can take, so... What is this? Red and yellow to make purple. I guess all these purples I can get rid of. I think what I'll do... Okay, I got it. These aren't really required, I can kind of disperse them. Well, I put them around random places. Then I can put the uh, red and yellow here. I really want to do more stuff around the houses, but <laughs> just these flowers. Just no resolution with them yet. Okay. They have a bunch of purple flowers. What am I going to do? filled in. I could try and do an arrangement here. Mm-hmm. 
And then I'll get a different color. Okay. That's gotten rid of most of them. all these pink ones as well. I'm gonna be lazy and just put this here for now. Okay. Okay. So red. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Red. Yellow. I'm hoping that works. <laughs> All right. Now I know any purple that I get from here. I guess there's no point in watering these because that's gotten me what I need to get. I have to focus on these now. Okay, so that set up. Lilies. What have I done wrong? Oh no, tulip, sorry. Red plus red. Should have given me black. I have orange. Red plus white equals pink. Okay, well, what I can do... I'll take these ones away to that other spot that I had. Isolate them here. Right, so this should give me pink or black. Uh. 
Uh, hyacinth. Orange plus orange will give me purple, so... Not that, stop. So I got blue already, but then... Do I have another orange? Um... Well, so here's the thing. Yeah, I can take the orange safely. So I'm not gonna get used for anything else, so I'm gonna start like a field of orange. This one might not be. All right. <laughs> Roses. Oh, the rose is going to be a pain. Okay, so I have gotten my purple ones. Okay, so I need to isolate so that I know what hybrid pink is. Because right now I have pink, but I'm not sure if it's hybrid pink. Okay. So. Take all the purple ones. There's no way I would have hybrid red. That would be hybrid pink. <laughs> oh, what a process. All right. some room here. We'll do it here. This means I can't build the thing I was going to build here.
Okay, so the pink ones I get from here. Hang on. Mixed with yellow to get hybrid red, and then both of the hybrid reds become blue. The other one I need to set up is get black ones. So just red and red. But I think I have that set up. Or, well, this is the problem. I don't really know. Like, these could be hybrid red for all I know. This hybrid red comes from... It's possible that I ended up with hybrid pink and these are hybrid red. Like, I just don't know. I guess for now I'm just going to have to trust this. Or you know what? No. I've got a better idea. I'm not going to I'm not going to guess. the other ones. I, I'm not leaving it to chance. Sign. <laughs> Grab. Uh. Ah, oh, you're helping, but it's already been loaded. And then just a field of red somewhere. I guess. You know, would it work here? Yeah. I mean, most likely it would work. Let me see how much space it has. Hmm, not enough room. large enough plot of land. Probably place it here. You know, it's gonna get in the way, but it's fine. I'm gonna place them here. Hmm. 
doing these. Uh, well. I guess just water these. See what comes of it. Have red, pink, pink plus yellow equals red. I mean, I, I doubt I've got the workings of what what's going to happen here. I'll just set up more chances for, for black ones. And on the off chance one of these happens to be hybrid red, well, it'll work if it works. Oh, that's fine. Accident. Well, may as well. See how this pans out. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go finish Audie's garden. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, no interruptions. <laughs> okay. Ah. Once I have blue of something, I'll put it in the background as well. of them. So it's like, what, four? Five now? If I have a bunch of these orange ones, I'm not sure what to do with.
Okay, I didn't order them. Where did I get that one? Ow. Good enough. Good timing, I thought of a new nickname. A brand new one, what is it? Muffin. Fine. Well, it's definitely better than the ones that my original file had, like... My original file, what was it, it was like Backbeat or something? <laughs> it's really weird. What does that even mean? have a few of these. Hmm. I might do something with this. about in the interest of making this I'll do something yeah This is a bad idea. Just of like, I guess a free flowing spot. Alright, I'll 
deal with it later. I guess the general idea is gonna be... Figure out how this comes together. I would need to move these, but that's fine. I got too many orange flowers. picture in my head for how I want this to look, but it might take a little bit. Wait. Orange. thinking what fencing I want. I haven't really used this fencing. Let's use this fencing. Can't be customized. Interesting. Alright. I'll make it work. Short one. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, Pop Rocks, how's it going? Uh, what is this fencing even made? I'll just get a bunch of stuff out. I'm bound to be correct. If I get everything out. Good, how am I? I'm doing okay, it's just kicking back after an extremely busy week. So, just working on my island a little. Where am I at that it's so late? Uh, I'm in Australia, so it's only 8pm here. It's not super late. 
Take it, you're from the US. <laughs> you're saying it's super late. Yeah, I figured. Usually, this time of night, it's like the night owls slash insomniacs from America and then the, uh, the Europeans that are just starting their day. I got a mix of both. My accent's not super Australian, but if you want, I can go extra nasally. No, I'm not gonna do that. It's like nails on a chalkboard, the thick Australian accent. Just got called out, you have insomnia. Most people on Twitch have some sort of sleeping thing. So you're in good company. I mean, even though it's only 8pm here, I'll be up until pretty late myself. That's not too bad. As long as you got some form of sleep. Um. In the interest of keeping slots open, I don't want to get a new one. I'll get this one. Three hours? Yeah, I mean... It's something, but definitely should try to aim for more. I'm just thinking I should move it one to the left. Wish she could. That's okay. Just don't stress about it. I guess just know that that's pretty common. Just... You do what you can. It's gonna mess it up unless. Hang on. Pink, white, pink, white, pink. If I wanna offset it, I should do this. So it'll give me white. I mean, just chill and just listen to me <laughs> playing games. I've heard I have a pretty calming effect on people trying to sleep, so... You're gonna be getting a Switch in a couple of weeks, oh nice. Do you know what games you're getting? Crossing, okay. This is a good one.
hoping we don't have to wait too much between this and the next one. Okay. That's about right. I will move my money tree stuff, just not yet. They took forever for this one. Yeah, but I guess the difference between this one and the other one, like between New Leaf and this, the amount of copies this game sold compared to New Leaf is, is insane. So I would expect it sooner rather than later. Especially since, you know, the events that shall not be spoken of um, just brought a whole bunch of new people to the series that had never played it before, myself included. So, I think given how well this one sold, I don't think they'd hesitate to be making another one. At least I think so, who knows, at the end of the day. Events, yeah. <laughs> the events of 2020 that shall not be spoken about. That made this game super popular. Well, contributed to it. Hey, Mr. Sam, how's it going? Hang on, I'm gonna drink some water, give me a sec. You're sick? You too? Man, so many people sick right now. like that for now. Who do I know, that, do I know that's sick? I mean, just in chat alone, like, at least four or five people have mentioned that. the school kids. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I guess school's kind of be a hot spot. Where am I going to put my money trees? I was going to put trees here, but... No, let's... Let's put them here. You don't know what you can do to improve your immunity. I mean, sometimes it's just, it is what it is.
Oops. Alright, I'll deal with this tree once it's grown. I'll do it for now. Well, now, can I? Well, hopefully. Two cushions. How's my house moving? Oh man. Uh, um, today was the final, what do you call it, handover thing. For the old place. So that's all, all done. <sighs> now it's just a matter of getting things to where they need to be. My bedroom is, is pretty much set up, so that's like my room that's just nice right now. In here, uh, there's a bunch of stuff everywhere, but I'd say like halfway done. Just, yeah, there's boxes I gotta deal with. But over the next few days, it should be uh, more home like. guests in the bedroom. Well, no guests so far. I mean, the place is better in a lot of ways, but I think the only thing that's annoying me right now is because it's in an apartment block, and apartments tend to have bugs, so it's like... The apartment is above dumpsters, which can get a little annoying. That's, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know people that live in apartments that go through that. It's just, get bug spray and then you just deal with it. You have a subscription with Flick because you hate cockroaches so much, yeah. I think I need a different color pillow. Yeah, I mean, I've got a bunch of spray, so it's fine. And the other thing is you just gotta stay clean. It's just a case of random is random. Is like, sometimes they'll be around, other times they won't be. Because, you know, they just live indiscriminately. They'll just go... But otherwise, everything is is fine. I like... I just like the layout of this place a bit better. Never had the issue in Michigan where it's colder than Texas. Yeah, it's the warmer climate as well. I mean, Australia is just... warmer. In, th in summer, I mean, if you have the air condition going, the house is warm, uh, colder in general. 
that they tend to avoid air conditioned. Australia is just a petri dish of insects, yeah. I was lucky with the last place because I would I would get them from time to time. Like I wasn't immune to it. But here it's definitely more common. And it's just because yeah, the bins are like below. <laughs> You saw a flying one last week in its death throes locked on there. The ones I've seen have been small, thankfully. They're not the big fuckers. But it's just been a case of, okay, immediately deal with it. And I got like one of those sprays that sprays... Um... Like every few hours it sprays a little bit. And yeah, at night I'm proactive. I like just spray a little, a little bit on the, the door seal that leads outside, so then it's like, well, if they try to crawl in the gap, they're gonna die. It's been fine. You had the one in your room when your ex-husband went to kill it from across the room, it flew out your face. Never seen them before like that. Oh, that's that's frightening. The worst bug encounter I had, I had a tarantula jump at me at night when I was a teenager. <laughs> we used to have this this gate, so you know, it'd be a, it was a pretty long driveway, and my the gates would be open. My dad would get home and he'd be tired, like he just worked a lot. So he'd get home, he'd go eat, and he'd go to sleep, and then he'd have to get up to work right away. So he'd get home, and one of us would have to go close the gate behind them, that's all. Just because, I mean, yeah, dude worked his ass off. Anyway, one night I did that, and um, <laughs> I went to grab the gate. It, I just saw this, like, blur go past my face. And I look to the left, and yep, tarantula. Now, that's the only time I will say I've experienced the whole meme of Australians and deadly creatures and spiders. It's just outside outside of that, there. They're not too many other encounters I've had with big spiders. But then again, I haven't really gone to the middle of nowhere in Australia, so... Yeah, just gotta deal with it. I think this is how I'm gonna do this. Just, yeah. What else did I get for food? Oh yeah, oh, I forgot to customize the glass jar. I was gonna get cookies. Those glass stars are very, very useful.
All spiders eat other bugs. They don't need to be so huge. Yeah, that's just intimidating. I can't believe there are people out there that keep them as pets. You catch them and release them into the garden? Oh, man. But they come back, don't they? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm not merciful with it. I think the only ones I leave are the daddy longlegs, because they're generally chill. And from what I've read, um, their fangs are too small anyway. to the wrong thing. Only one kind of good spider. Let me guess if I can got a, a dead one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is topical, so I'll be another streamer that has their own brand of cookies. <laughs> Daddy Long Lens apparently aren't actually spiders. Oh, they're a different family. I mean, the problem in Australia is we have... Ones that, uh, if you get bitten by them, they can mess you up. <laughs> so sorry, I just, I just don't take that risk. I mean, it's less likely where I am, but... You do learn about it in school, just hey, don't don't mess with spiders. Hammer <laughs> to the spider. I mean I just usually use spray because otherwise they leave a mark. Man, that just reminds me. So my cousin, when I was younger once, I was over at his house and there was a spider on the wall and he hates spiders. So, in his infinite wisdom, <laughs> he goes, watch this. He gets some hairspray, sprays it, and gets a lighter and then lights the spider on fire. Got the spider, but then he kind of overshot it a little and it got onto the curtain. So the curtain lit on fire, but he's in a panic. And right at that moment, my aunt comes into the room and just, you know, says, hey, food's ready. So, you know, it went from, hey, food's ready to just, I don't remember what was said, but like, let me tell you, it's just, it was all in Spanish, and instead of going to put out the curtain on fire that was on fire, like I thought was going to happen right away, she went to the kitchen to get a broom, and she just used the broom on my <laughs> hit, hit my cousin with the broom and it broke. Then they tended to the fire. 
so you know. Spiders can cause uh, bad things to happen. Whether it be fires or uh, getting a broom destroyed on your ass. My family is loud. No, it's not. Honestly, it's pretty far for the course when it comes to, like, Latin American families. Getting hit with the nearest, um... Household thing. Or, like, a... A sandal. If you do something really, really stupid. be surprised. You know, I, I, I talk about the comical uncle that I had and his friend, but you talk to a lot of people, there's always one member of the family that is a bit outlandish and just does stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to put an... Uh, I'm thinking about what to put here. I might put music instead. They do that in Mexico, all the moms. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, my family's Salvadorian, so it's like a little, a little more south. La Chancla! <laughs> Everyone knows about La Chancla. My mom testing the heat of the pan with her bare hands. She doesn't test. She doesn't test the pan. Like when <sighs> tortillas are made, okay, they use this piece of cast iron. It's just a circle. And instead of spatulas, they just use their hands. <laughs> they just lift it up with their hands. She doesn't do it for everything. It's not like you know. The, she's gonna cook some meat, and then she's gonna use her hands to flip the meat. This is just specifically for tortillas and pupusas, which is like a Central American thing. <laughs> my frustration, because you, you're just picturing like my mom telling me to use my bare hands to just flip shit when I'm cooking. Now, granted, she she did laugh at me, because I was like, I'm going to use a spatula, and she's like, no, just use your hands. I'm like, what? I don't want to use my hands. I'm going to get burnt. But no, no, you'll get used to it. Then, you know, you won't feel it. But I don't want to get used to it. <laughs> I don't need to get used to it. We have spatulas. I'm looking for, like, a little stereo system or something to put outside. Do I not have... Do I really, really not have, like, a little... Oh, it just housewares, that's why. Everyone uses their hands to flip bread. Okay. Oh, but it's just like, I get it. I could do it that way. I could learn to do it that way, but I don't have to. There are so many things you could revert to, like, the industrial era, but we don't do that, do we? 
it's like, oh, you know, you could perfectly find your way around the neighborhood if you draw a map and then you refer to that map. And then what you do is you keep drawing maps and you make a book. Then you have a book of maps and then anytime you need to go anywhere, you just open up your book of maps. No, just use, use the internet, man. Like, that's what we have it for. I'm going to use a spatula to flip my tortillas. And I'm going to use the internet to know where I need to get to. I'm getting derailed. <laughs> Do I really not have a little, little portable sound system thing? I see DJ table fax machine for some reason, a copy machine. Tortilla doesn't get that hot to be honest. No, but I have big hands and that's, I guess that's the thing. I don't think I could get my hand under it without touching the thing. And I don't, I'm not good at things that are, you know, precise. I'm not clumsy, I'd say just I have poor dexterity is. If there's something that requires a certain amount of strength, I'll either use too little or too much strength. There is no in-between. Okay, the hit, this is what I was looking for. What else can I take outside to be part of that picnic area? I'm just gonna use a spatula. It does, it's not like someone's gonna try my tortillas and gonna be like, hey Will, these taste funny. Did you flip these with your hand or did you use a spatula? Oh, I used a spatula. What? Spatula? No, it ruins the flavor. Stop it. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, ugh. Yep, some people are trying to sleep and I'm just yelling about tortillas. Alright, what sounds like picnic music? not to pick. <laughs> you have to go on YouTube to find my uncle's stories because you don't think you've laughed so hard. But I haven't even told all of them. <laughs> he used to... Just used to do random things to intimidate. Well, not intimidate, but I guess just joke around with some boyfriends that some of my cousins brought to family gatherings. Clearly, like, joking. I'm just gonna pick one. This one will do. Oh crap, I hadn't selected it. So 
Uh, one of my, uh... One of my cousins brought over a new boyfriend once. And so this boyfriend... Um... Their family w was into, uh... Can I even sit here? No, their family was into, uh, sport shooting. Which is a pretty rare thing here in Australia, right? But, you know, they were into the, the sports shooting stuff. So, uh... The dude's pretty nice talking to everyone. And... Sits down. And my uncle has a conversation with him. At first it starts pretty normally. And then just... I don't know how he made the segue, but it gets onto the topic of the shooting. He's like, so, your family has a lot of guns, yeah? He's like, uh, not a, not a lot. Just, just a few, you know, we go out and, uh, yeah, there's a place we go to and it's just for sport. Like, oh, yeah. Do you have a cabinet? It's like, yeah, yeah, we do. Does it have locks on them? It's like, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you know, keep it safe. There's a lot of things you gotta do if you're gonna do that stuff. Yeah. How secure you reckon it is? Like, what do you mean? I mean, is it easy to get into or what? Uh, I don't know. Because sometimes you buy locks, and you know the locks, people can get into them easily. And then your stuff gets stolen. <laughs> he, was, he was messing with them. Just asking way too many questions about, like, how secure the guns were. How old was the guy? The guy was, like, 21, I think. But he was just trying to find out, like, if he was really, really into the gun shit or not. But the guy didn't seem to really care about the guns. You'd be like, you want a map to the guns and I schedule it on the home. <laughs> yeah. I think he was trying to, he was trying to hint, he was trying to phrase it more like, you know, he had stuff to, that needed locking up and security. He was trying to make it seem like he had something very important to lock up and wouldn't say what it was. That's more what the conversation was about as opposed to, like, stealing. He was trying to, I guess, get information about how to protect shit. <laughs> I don't know, it was even more sus. It's fu it was funny. I feel like, in every family, there is a family member that's kind of like that. You know, he's- he's had a life. <laughs> he decided to take a drive to, like, uh, the northern part of Australia once. Decided to t just go- go visit a state that he'd never been to. Took a drive up there, 
and then he didn't come back for two years. <laughs> just decided to live there. He knew people over there, to be fair, but just on a whim. How's my uncle now? My uncle, you know, he's all about the hustle. He does little things to make extra money, like uh, selling gym equipment. He's he browses the Facebook marketplace quite a bit. <laughs> Just hustles. That's his side hustle. Gym equipment? No, for real. 100% for real. Because a common thing that happens here is people buy gym equipment and then they don't use it and then they need to get rid of said gym equipment. You would be surprised how often that happens. Now, if you want to say, quote, gym equipment, his friend, uh, def I, would, I would say yes, he, quote, gym equipment. <laughs> but, yeah, he probably hasn't talked to that guy in, like, a very long time. Yeah, his his friend was the, the real hustler. Is marijuana legal here? Uh, no. It is legal for medicinal purposes in some states. But it's like pretty strictly controlled. Um, but I can't imagine we're too far away from getting to that point. The first step is like medicinal. And then eventually it'll go to widespread use. I was gonna say, I don't have a... yeah I do. I haven't really done much with this sort of tiling. I'm gonna try. The state I live in is probably, like, one of the contenders for, um, being the first to do it. Hmm. 
Just debating. Should I? Yeah, I'll put the path that way. Sorry, I'm like very serious discussion going on in chat, and I'm just like, hmm. Wonder if these rocks should go around the corner like this or not. Keep going to this. Should be good enough. Um, which ones are these? Plumeria. This, what you're talking about isn't very Animal Crossing, your eyes and stuff, but you're fascinated. Don't go for it. You guys can have your own conversations in chat. <laughs> if I had something to contribute, I'll be like, hey, this is... This is what I'm going to talk about. But right now, I'm like more focused on this. This will work, and then I put another three here. Symmetrical. And then the asymmetry will be like on. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Um. I don't know if Leaf was selling Plumeria. Go have a look. Otherwise, the Daily Island typically has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. Please. Azalea. Hydrangea. Nope. Okay. I guess I'm gonna roll the dice on the island and see what happens. Otherwise, I'll, I'll get it eventually. Like, I've got on that island plenty of times. Yeah. 
I need to buy an extension cable so I can hook up some of the other stuff. But because it's Black Friday weekend, I'm kind of afraid to go to the stores. I went today. I forgot about it. I just kind of got what I needed to and got out. And then afterwards, I was like, shit, I forgot about the extension leads. But it was just crazy. And I went during a time where it wasn't supposed to be busy. I can only imagine what it'd be like tomorrow. Ugh. Um, I guess Catten. All right. I want to sail around the whole world with you. Have some adventures too. But me life has other plans. If I could shrink this old world puts it in me wee backyard. We could sail seven seas in ten minutes. The world would be ours. Believe it or not, back in the day I used to be lean and mean. This world spins around, but I be here to stay, and I got dreams. I'll follow them fine day. I think I've heard all of them at this point. Oh shit, look out! <laughs> I lucked out, GG. Uh, I guess I'll grab four of them. So then I have the color altern- Either way, the colors will alter- alternate as I want them to. Plumeria, Plumeria. Cool. May as well grab all this while I'm here. I still haven't really got on a special island. Hopefully be enough for what I want to do. Oh. Uh, guess I have to swim across. Yeah, use the shovel in the ocean, that'll work.
I mean, let's see if this might be in a different season. Ah, oh, well, we'll see. I doubt there's anything here, so I might just grab the vines and leave. Get this rock and then we'll go back. Ruined seat. What is this? Oh. Because if I want to set up... I mean, where would I even put something like that? Give up. Alright, but that's fine. I got what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Sunlight and moonlight can be rough on the eyes, but I'll still take them over your cloudy skies. Cloudy skies mean storms, and storms can cancel dinner. I guess you could say that storms make you thinner. When I'm away from me sweet little baby girl, I see her sweet face. She's a real pearl. She's a real pearl. Let's see if I got the timing. Hey, I got it. Thank you. 
The only thing I wish is just the sound effect on custom tiles. It just sounds like I have those squeaky shoes. Oh, I forgot to do this. I wanted to sell the fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My character has nice hair, bookish. Thanks. Honestly, the only hairstyle that I'm like, eh, it's close enough. It's, I don't know how it sounds like squishy me, it just sounds like air. Like there's a layer of air between the shoes. I missed the rolls. Oh, it's small fish. This is easy. Good. I've never made meatballs. I've made meatballs. I just don't think it sounds like that. Yes, but did you use your bare hands or did you use a spatula to make the meatballs? When you flipped them in the pan, did you just dip your hand in the scorching oil or did you use a spatula like a weakling? Imagine like Gordon Ramsay chewing someone out on TV because they're using a spatula. What the fuck is this? Why are you using a spatula, you donkey? Put your hands in. Dude breaks the spatula in half. Right, I need three tortillas, and make them with your fucking hands! Yes, chef. This, is, this fish is not gonna move. Come on! It's in such an awkward spot, I can't... I I can't reach it. Okay, maybe... The Why are they all... Alright, this one. How about the guy that says we chef? I haven't seen all of Hell's Kitchen. Would you believe it? I haven't seen much of it at all. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces over the years, like clips, just people sharing. Uh, I think the fish is gone. Oh, no, it's not. Alright. I'm just gonna go find another one. I'm getting distracted from my original goal. <laughs> I'm giving up, I'm giving up. I'm not gonna be able to get that. I'm gonna drive people crazy. That episode of Family Guy where Peter's trying to pick up the dead frog and just is unable to do so. That's pretty much me right now.
Good. Yeah. God. Okay, um, one here. There. There. Okay, I'll put a single flower there, and then... I don't know what to put here. Maybe there's like a little statue or something I can get. Um... Put this here. I know, like, the chub thing. Want me to tell that story of just the principle I had as, as a kid? It's just, I'm convinced that she hated children. Just, there's no other explanation. Likes the idea of children, but then when kids are being kids... Really doesn't like them. It's like, it's such a rookie mistake. It's, okay, kids are finding some word hilarious. So instead of, you know, ignoring it, and then they'll get over it quickly, you kind of add appeal to the word by banning it. Especially kids that like to annoy others. <laughs> Just... I'll tell the story just for the, the sake of context, but uh, in elementary school I had a principal that took over, and anything that she would find annoying she'd ban, so she did stuff like ban Pokemon cards, for example, which, fair enough, they had fights. We had fights over them, that was a fair call. But uh, there was this commercial in Australia for a security company. And they're called Chubb Security. So I don't remember how we got to this, but because, you know, I was pretty young at the time. But all I remember was we just found the word Chubb hilarious. And I think the commercial was talking about getting an alarm from Chubb Security. So the thing became that we just run around yelling, Chub alarm, Chub alarm, Chub alarm! Oh, just kids being, like, who knows how kids come up with shit, right? So, after about two days of that, in the morning assembly, she just said that, oh, that the word Chub is now banned at the school, and anyone found saying the word Chub would get detentions, and it was just the most absurd thing, just... Chub. Yep. They don't want to deal with the word. Just banned it. That only made it worse. It just gave it more power. So instead of us forgetting about it in a couple of days and moving on to something else, it's, I feel like it was just this thing that lasted longer than it should have. To the point where I remember it. It's just... Yeah. But it, yeah, it was with one of those things that just... I think she liked children, it's just when kids were being annoying, basically being kids, just was very quick to just get annoyed. Chubb. 
Chub means semi-hard penis in the US. I think it means the same thing here. Or at least we've had enough exposure of it. Aha, exposure. Um, that it's something we understand what it is, but kids don't know that that's what it means. And it was the name of a security company. It's just a large enough security company. And the word alarm preceded it. It's not like we were saying, Haha, massive chub. We weren't saying anything like that. It was chub alarm. So anyone hearing those words would be like, Oh, they're just doing the, the commercial of the security company. So what we were saying wasn't bad at all. <laughs> just, just, I don't know, man. I don't think this teacher had a lot of patience. And uh, if you're going to teach elementary school, I feel like you have to have some level of patience for like dumb stuff like that. I should probably attempt to make some money here, but... I'm more interested in the thing that I'm doing. Doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like what that I'm not in, that I'm interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> Chub sounds like chubby. I mean, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Colloquial terms vary. It's like, uh, this Australian pers TV personality that went to America. Um, he was a gardening dude. And he went on a, uh, a talk show. I forget which one, but he was saying that he horrified the audience because they are, they are, the question got asked, like, what does he do in his garden? You know, it was describing normal things. Um, just, you know, oh, veggie pat, vegetables, uh, you know, has a bunch of flowers. And then indoors said he had pot plants. So when you say pot plants in Australia, everyone understands that it's potted plants. But much to the shock of the audience, you know, dude just admitted to having pot. Oh, okay. How many, how many pot plants do you have? Oh, I have, I have about like two, two dozen or so. Have one in the bedroom. <laughs> It just... Dude didn't realize, uh, what he was saying. Until after the fact, when someone was like, Hey, uh, just so you know. I guess it's the same with Chubb, it's just... Australians will be talking about the security company, Americans will be talking about something completely different. I don't want to say the word penis too many times, because then Google might punish me. So, I'm, I'm being very sparing with that. You don't know what YouTube's gonna be like, uh-uh-uh. Just seeing what else I can take outside. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't know why I like that. Well, for a while... They were going to crack down on swearing, but they've honed it down. Now it's like, you as long as you don't swear within the first minute of your, of your video and you avoid the C word where possible, which good luck for Australians, right? But like, it's generally okay. Maybe. What about crafting? What have I got? I need more. This might not be bad. I might take that out. Not what I was after, but... Uh... Okay, so I get every fruit. not craftable? What am I missing? Oh, am I missing... Maybe? I should have paid more attention to the actual recipe. There we go. Oh, I was just missing coconut. So, you know, I'm gonna just make glass out of thin air. Can this be further customized? This can, though. Do you want cream with your coffee? Because it sounds like you're gonna throw thick and cream in there. Just call it milk. Well, it's not milk. From what I've learned, it's not actually milk. It is cream. So it's it's not Americans being incorrect and calling it milk, uh, calling it cream when it's they mean milk. They actually mean cream. It isn't cream, not from what I've heard. I've heard cream is like, when they say they're gonna put cream in the coffee, it's not milk, it's like a, a thing that's more of a cream consistency. Or cream or whatever, whatever it is. And correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. 
Now, am I really gonna do the thing where the, there's no actual way to sit down? I suppose that's the only one floor. Well, hold on. What I can do instead. I got this. I might see what this picnic basket can become. There's probably other styles to it. But then there is a way to sit down now. Now it's just sit this way and it'll work. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll put the uh, the thing there. And then these little spots I'll fill with random flowers. Just haven't decided what yet. Yeah, little picnic area. Alright. It had been a while since I had done anything on the island, so I just felt like it today. Nothing super fancy, but it contributes. The only colloquial term for like American that uh, I'm like. I, I can't get around is just the whole you know the terminology with burgers and sandwiches it's just I don't understand it if I want to get you know something that has chicken in it and I don't want bread like sliced bread I'm gonna have to ask well what kind of bread do you use Whereas in, in Australia, you just don't have that problem. If you hear chicken sandwich, you know that it's going to have sandwich bread. And if you hear chicken burger, you know it's going to be in a burger bun. There's no ambiguity. You know what, you know, you have a mental picture of what it's going to look like. Bread and everything. Chicken sandwich is so ambiguous. You don't know what bread it's going to use. Okay. I guess for now. See yep. until it grows up and I'll get rid of it. There we go. Yeah, that works.
I mean, I could lay some flowers down. I want more hybrids, that's all. Well, uh, I already got enough pink over there. I, n I need blue. I want blue. So what do I have over there? Yes, I have orange and pink. I think I'll just white. That's fine. But this was I could change the color of the fence. It's the only thing. Otherwise, it's fine. I like it. The missing Roman statues. I don't really have any. The only thing I have is the giant statue of Olmec. And this statue. And I want you know, a different statue, but I only have the Statue of Liberty here, so I guess that's what I've had to use. Yeah. This this is fine. This worked out fine. I just need the now open sign, like she has on the inside. These are the only two houses I've been able to do up. Because I didn't put any flowers on them. Oh, I guess Pekka's house is done up to some degree. But that's because I just lucked out and got all this stuff just through... Well, the bridge I had to do myself, but... Like, all this stuff. I had to do it. Oh, I did use this fencing. Maybe I... Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about... What if I use the... Hang on, because I've used blue lattice fencing already. Just having a look what fencing I've used. So that's that doesn't count, because that's just rainbow. That's white fencing. Who has blue lattice fencing? I swear someone has it. Oh, you have it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so then it would just look like it was part of this house, so I can't use it. I'll see what other fencing I have. Tall fencing would work, it would cover too much. I mean, maybe this? Let's see. Oh, you can't cut. Ooh. Okay, this might work.
Молодцы. I'll do one side and then we can compare. Thoughts? Kinda leaning more towards the blue. And the style of fencing. Yeah, I like blue. The style of fencing kind of lends better to it as well. Wait to be done with these flowers. Ugh. But it's okay. I looked it up now, so like should have a setup that. All oh, right. Ugh. Got off. Unequipped to put it away. I should have a setup now that's actually works. Uh, hold on. I would like to do something with the gyros, but I don't know. It might not happen. Spot. Ooh. I should still be able to do it, actually. That's fine, I can still do it. Okay. Because I wanted to get some lights, but... Then I remembered, wait, I think I covered up the spot where I was going to put a light. That won't happen today, but we'll set up for it. First, I guess. I definitely don't have that one. So, what do I want to buy? Some of these. I'll do four of these. These will definitely come in handy. 
I don't need simple walls yet, but I'll probably need to get more of them. Okay. And... What do I want to go with? I guess I'll go with these. Two of them. And, uh... This... Thinking ahead. I'll probably put that near the campsite. Yeah. Okay, I guess the only thing I haven't done is find the furniture from the trees. But everything else for the day has been done. It's one. I haven't checked what the hot item is, I should probably check what it is. <laughs> that wheel just goes with the rest of the vibe of this area. Multiple things spinning and in movement. I wonder if I can be sneaky and put the stadium light somewhere. That just adds to the effect of this. Ooh, ooh, maybe I can. Because there's, there's a spot behind it. I think I can put them behind the house and they will go over the house. This might not be such a random find. Oh, this is just lucky. gonna work. I think the, just the color that I need to change. <laughs> Imagine this being next door to your, your house. You're just living a peaceful suburban life and then your next door neighbor, a clown, literal clown, just has this shit going on. Right, it didn't really work as well as I thought. I'll leave it there. Hey, Star Slayer, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, what? 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 I was gonna help you out with one of the more useful reactions today, but, uh... I'm kinda stumped. Sorry about that, kidders. Hang on, did you not know how to be apologetic? Wow, that was lucky. 
Sorry, I didn't teach you sooner. I'm going okay. How are things for me? Uh, doing okay. I just moved into a new place, so... It's been a bit hectic. A couple of weeks. Between that and just November, it's just work. Everyone wants stuff done before the end of the year. First evening in a couple of weeks where I've just been able to chill and play games. Without having to think about doing something the next morning. Yeah. How's, uh, how are things going for you? Isn't it super late over there? I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, right, I'm looking for the other piece of furniture. 3 a.m.? Oh, that's not too bad. As long as you don't have to get up too early tomorrow. Don't have anything to do. Nice. Yeah, good. Oh, it's okay. The only thing I have to do is go grocery shopping, but I might just put that off till Sunday. Just because right now it's the whole Black Friday thing, which is something that's become more of a thing here in the last five years. And I just... I don't like massive crowds, particularly with shopping centers. It's going to be a nightmare to go anywhere on Friday. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I worked retail as a teenager and... Not every place does this, mind you, but the place that I worked at... On Black Friday, they had these sales where they always made their minimum margin on it. And it was just like, there wasn't really too much of a difference. And the stuff that there was a massive difference on was stuff that was on its way out and was being replaced by something newer anyway. So that experience definitely tempered my expectations when it comes to those kind of sales. This is cute, this one. Yeah. I'm very happy with this one. This is one of the places I've done up. Uh, it's Audie's place. Just, you know, making practical use of graphic design stuff I learned. Hi, Audie. <laughs> I mean, I dress like, uh, like Steve from Blue's Clues, but thank you. <laughs> you didn't even notice till I said that. Yeah, that, that's what I went for. I saw the t-shirt in the shop and I'm like, ha, huh, that's, I'm gonna dress like Steve. I still haven't found a second piece of furniture. I wanted to pet it. 
There we go. Good dog. Alright, well now all my trees should be safe. I think that's five of them. Yeah, I'm slowly just making my island look nice. I hadn't played this game since 2020, so... Felt like revisiting it. haven't I checked? Oh, wait, I think I know. No? There it is. Okay. My original plan was to make an area somewhere where the gyroids would play and it'd be like a band, but I just don't think I can do that anymore. I don't really have a large spot. I mean, maybe if I clear the trees out from here I could do something, but it wouldn't make much sense to put it in front of this house. Maybe if I do like another beach area, like this one. But over on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I'll leave it. Okay, I think I've done all the stuff that I wanted to do today. I just wanted to set up some purchases, do the daily thing, and then also just build something because I haven't done anything in a while. So, this is nice. I think the only thing I'll add here is just once I get some of the other flowers, uh, I'll put a light here. And a light here. Or, hang on. Is that correct? Yeah, it's correct. And then just random hybrids once this resolves itself, which... I mean, I've been trying for the last month, but I think now that I've seen the guide, it should hopefully be better. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna sell stuff. And I'm probably going to move on to Mario RPG because I've had this sitting here for like the last week. <laughs> I just haven't been able to get around to it because of the move. Stacked bottle crates and a DIY workbench. Hold on. What does it use? Wait, did it say simple or mini? If it's simple, I probably will make a few of them. Yeah, it's simple. All right, cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, this might take a little bit of time. So sorry if I'm going to be crafting stuff for like the next 10 minutes because the game doesn't have multi-crafting. So one day it will and Nintendo will make it sound like it's the greatest invention ever. Pokemon Red, <laughs> like from the from the damn nineteen nineties, had just multiple quantities. It's like buying stuff in bulk. You you could buy ninety nine of an item if you wanted to. I mean, I get why they do it, but it's just so. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Got a hope. Whilst I didn't eat turkey today, I ate chicken. That whatever I do is worth at least 20,000 bells. If it's not, I'm gonna be a little sad. At least crafting is fast. Yeah, I have to quickly press the button. This is the normal speed if I don't press anything. So if I just do this. But if I tap A. And just keep tapping it. It's a little more bearable. Serious crafting. I just realized the one thing that I, I don't miss right now. So it's, it's 10 o'clock at night right now, yeah. And around this time, depending on the day, I had a neighbor upstairs that... So... It would always be on Friday night or Saturday night. So, you know, the night where people are doing stuff. Would play loud meditation music. I don't know if it's meditation music, but just imagine someone playing music loud to party, like that level, but then it's some meditation type music. I don't know what genre it would be, but it's like chill. It's music that if you were to listen to it, it'd be like, oh, you'd have it in a room, it would be quiet, and you would use it to unwind but they would play it super loudly. Not, you know, oh no, the police are gonna come loudly, but like loudly enough that I'm like, what the fuck, am I hearing meditation music? And uh, just clicked, it's like, oh wait, there's no music. Oh yeah, right, I'm in the new place. I, I guess I just got used to it, but I, I didn't really think of an explanation like why you would do that. I 
I don't know. I had weird neighbors at the other place. And there was another one that it sounded like they were moving furniture as well, and it would be like uh, 11 o'clock at night. Okay. Not, not that. Okay, uh... Yeah. Please be over 20,000, otherwise this was waste of time. Alright, no, I'm doing this again. Yep, absolutely. This is going to happen again. have all that hardwood and nothing really to do with it. And now if one of those expensive items pops up I can buy it. I want to buy the truck when it pops up so I want to make sure I get enough money for it. Because I was thinking of trying to do like a food truck thing but... I need the truck. On the beach, place a truck, and then set up a stall outside the truck. That, that was my idea. But the truck just hasn't shown itself yet. I mean... Uh, I think... I'm just gonna ignore the logistics of parking a truck on sand, but... You know, I have other things that don't really make sense on this island as well, like... An outdoor library. Okay, well, sit here for another five minutes. Legit just walked to the fridge with controller in one hand to get my bottle of water. Ah, oh, man. It's still humid here. night where I was trying to catch a fish and made it's like a hundred and twenty pieces of bait just to try to catch this stupid fish. I went to bed that night and just I swear I could hear the sound effects of just the crafting. Just that sound effect. You know what? I don't know why I got so much iron out, that makes no sense.
Nearly there. That DIY workbench money. Let's see the bells. Good. Alright, worthwhile. Does it really expect me that well it's like 100 is it really gonna make me plant 200 of these i'm just not gonna do that I've, i have planted three trees in the how many hours like 80 hours i've played of this i've planted three trees myself that much. Okay. One last look at this. Well, I'm gonna leave Animal Crossing here for now, but we'll pick this up probably tomorrow. I ordered some stuff, so I think there's more I want to do. But yeah, this is fun. So I'm gonna do some Mario RPG. Uh, I just need a small two minute intermission before I do that. But I'm going to play that next. But uh, if you're here for Animal Crossing, thanks for watching. Or if you're watching this later on YouTube as well, thanks for sticking around to the end. And if you want to support the channel on YouTube, just uh, there's buttons, I believe, that have like a thumbs up that help the channel. So thanks to those that do do that. Or uh, if you want to watch me do something else in the meantime, if I remember to do so, just click one of the other two videos. Yeah. Till next time. Bye, YouTube.